Welcome to the Unraveling the Scriptures channel. Undoubtedly, one of the most enigmatic populations to have ever inhabited planet Earth were the ancient Egyptians, along with the ancient Semitic peoples and many other ancient peoples. I have received several requests to make a video about the genetics of ancient Egyptians and modern Egyptians. There is a great debate about the ethnic identity and genetics of ancient Egyptians. After all, what was the DNA of the ancient Egyptians? In this video, I will cover everything about this topic. And if you are interested, I can bring other videos about the genetics of ancient peoples in the future. With that said, enjoy another video from the channel. The Origin of the Genetics of Ancient and Modern Egyptians Most people believe that the Egyptians formed a single ethnic group that did not undergo miscegenation over millennia. However, the truth is that ancient Egyptians experienced significant miscegenation with various peoples, including those from the Middle East and even Europe. Although there were several miscegenations, the native Egyptian ethnicity differed from other foreign ethnicities that mixed with it. Ancient Egypt has always been extremely diverse and remains so today. For example, in northern Egypt, there is a lot of Levantine, Semitic, and Mediterranean DNA, while in the south, there is DNA more linked to the border region with Sudan, showing a more sub-Saharan African influence. Currently, modern Egyptians have a closer genetic connection with populations from the Middle East, especially from the Levant region, due to Egypt being an Arab nation today and part of the Arab world. Since antiquity, Egypt has received significant genetic influences from various migrations from the Middle East, which occurred over hundreds and thousands of years. However, the native DNA of ancient Egyptians is the subject of much debate and discussion, both academic and amateur. Some claim that ancient Egyptians were white peoples who lived in North Africa in antiquity. In fact, 3000 to 3500 years ago, there were white populations in the Maghreb region, ancestors of the Berbers, who formed several tribes in North Africa. However, in Egypt, there is a great debate about whether ancient Egyptians were white or black. Considering that Egypt is in Africa, many people argue that ancient Egyptians were black Africans. But can this be genetically proven? Did ancient Egyptians have genetics similar to sub-Saharan Africans, or were they genetically white? From now on, we will analyze the origins of ancient and modern Egyptians from a genetic perspective, using sources from the ancestral brew channel and genetic studies conducted with the genome of over 90 mummies from ancient Egypt. A study conducted by scientists from the Max Planck Institute in Germany brought forth various data on the controversy of ancient Egyptian DNA. They tested mitochondrial DNA, which is contained in mitochondria and passed exclusively through the maternal lineage, that is, from mother to daughter. More than 90 mummies dated between 1380 BC and 425 AD were tested. This study, published in 2017, revealed that Egyptian mummies had a strong relationship with the peoples of the Middle East, including current populations from Palestine, Mesopotamia, and Saudi Arabia. The bodies analyzed were taken from Abu Sir el Melek, a site considered a sanctuary of Osiris, the king of the underworld according to Egyptian mythology. The mummies date from the period known as the New Kingdom, which begins in 1400 BC and extends until 400 AD, marking the end of Roman Empire rule in the region. Mitochondrial DNA, a structure that can be preserved longer compared to other types of genetic tests, was used to map specific characteristics of one of the mummies, such as skin color, eye color, and even possible lactose intolerance. To correctly understand the origins of ancient Egyptians, we first need to understand which genetic groups inhabited the region of Egypt in antiquity, before genetic studies. The first identified group was the North African group called the Ibero-Morusian. The term Ibero-Morusian is a combination of Iberian, referring to the Iberian Peninsula, and Morusian, referring to the Maghreb region. This group was similar and related to a population group in the Levant region, known as the Natufians. Interestingly, facial reconstructions and studies on Natufians and Ibero-Morusians indicate that both had a brownish skin tone, very similar to the skin tone represented in the murals and artworks of ancient Egyptians. An interesting point is that ancient Egyptians, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, had significant miscegenations with peoples from the Middle East. Because of this, 
several genetic studies show great similarity between ancient Egyptians and Arab peoples from the Middle East, including countries like Palestine, Saudi Arabia, among others. Egyptology confirms this context of migration and miscegenation between native Egyptians and populations from the Middle East. The ancient Egyptians referred to these peoples as Hyksos or Hika Kaswet in ancient Egyptian. The Hyksos were a Semitic people who invaded and ruled Egypt during the Second Intermediate Period, around 1650 to 1550 BC. This invasion marked one of the few times in the history of ancient Egypt when the country was conquered by foreign forces. The term Hyksos is a Greek designation meaning rulers of the foreigners or foreign rulers. They were of Semitic origin, likely originating from the region of the Western Asia, and their rule in Egypt was characterized by a blend of cultural and administrative influences. The Hyksos were a militarily powerful people, and their conquest of Egypt was facilitated by technological advancements, such as the introduction of horses and animal-drawn war chariots, as well as the use of bronze weapons. They established their capital in Avaris, in the Nile Delta, and ruled Egypt for approximately 100 years. During the rule of the Hyksos, there was a syncretization of cultures, with Egyptian and Semitic elements merging in various aspects of life, including religion, art, and language. The Hyksos migrated to Egypt, where they lived for centuries, married local women, and integrated with other groups from the Middle East, such as the Semites. Basically, the DNA of ancient Egyptians from the Hellenistic period showed that approximately 50% of their genetic composition came from the Natufians and about 30% from Neolithic Anatolian farmers. In addition to Anatolian Neolithic DNA, an additional portion came from Mesopotamia, specifically from Neolithic Iranians, representing about 11% of ancestry. These three populations formed the majority of the DNA of Egyptians from that period. Ancient Egyptians from the Hellenistic period had approximately 66% DNA from Neolithic Anatolian farmers, a genetic heritage originating from the Middle East. This demonstrates the strong influence of migrations of Hyksos populations that entered ancient Egypt, settled, and intermixed with Egyptians, who had Natufian and Ibero-Morosian genetic heritage. Considering that the first population groups and genetic lineages to establish themselves in ancient Egypt were the Ibero-Morosians and the Natufians, who had a brownish skin tone, as depicted in ancient Egyptian artworks, we can understand that ancient Egyptians indeed had black skin. However, it is important to note that ancient Egyptians did not have a deeply dark skin tone, like populations from southern Ethiopia or Sudan, among other regions. They had a more brownish skin pigmentation, not as dark as ancient Sudanese or Nubians. In the Hellenistic period, we can observe that approximately 50% of their genetic heritage was Natufian, which corresponds to this description of a more brownish skin tone. However, the mixture with populations from the Middle East resulted in ethnic diversification, where the Hyksos played a significant role in the genetic composition of Egypt. This gradual miscegenation eventually merged the Hyksos with the Egyptian population, making them a single genetic entity. There is evidence that the Hyksos began to migrate to Egypt around 1900 BC, and over time, there were various interactions and miscegenations with various peoples from the Middle East, including the Israelites. It is relevant to remember that Joseph's wife was an Egyptian woman, and she was the mother of Manasseh and Ephraim, two tribes of Israel, during the period of the Ptolemaic Empire in ancient Egypt. Additionally, there was a significant genetic contribution from Greece and Macedonia that was incorporated into the DNA of ancient Egyptians. Contemporary Egyptians exhibit more Semitic characteristics and are considered more Arab, despite the genetic diversity present in their DNA. The predominant portion is of Semitic origin, largely due to the Arab influence that settled in Egypt after the expansion of Islam. An interesting observation is that biblical texts state that Mizraim, the son of Ham, was the ancestor of the ancient Egyptians, according to Jewish Semitic traditions. Interestingly, the presence of Natufian DNA, which represents the original lineage of ancient Egypt, is in line with these biblical accounts, suggesting that ancient Egyptians descended from the lineage of Ham, although they considerably mixed with populations from the Middle East over time. This topic is far from exhausted, 
and in a future video, in a second part about the origin of the DNA of ancient Egyptians, I will be back to explore it further. I thank everyone for their interest, God bless, and see you soon.